right, welcome back to Good Day. All week long, we've been talking about severe weather awareness. And Jim, of course, folks on the north end of the state, as well as right here on the southwest end of the state, uh, we got aware of it probably a week ago yes. when the first severe weather event of the new season began. Uh, so now we're just going to kind of rewind, set back everybody, you know, back to what they should be doing, what they should know. Uh, what is the number one thing that you give to the community as far as uh, what they need to know when and, when and if a watch and a warning are issued? Well, for us, the number one thing is we ask everyone to be prepared, to actually have a family plan. But we have sirens located throughout the city, and we only turn the sirens on for an actual warning, not for a watch. So right. if you hear the sirens go off, that means that there's something going on that makes you need to get inside, get out of the outside elements, and take, uh, take uh, shelter within your safe room within your house. Okay. And uh, now, now, last week, uh, you did get the test of the warning system with actual warnings, uh, correct? Yes. We also have the Code Red uh, system. And even we had with this, uh, the storm that passed through us, we actually turned on our sirens. We had our Code Red system activated. The, the thing that happens after that is quite often we'll get tremendous outpour from the community to sign up. Those people who intended to sign up never got a chance to, mm -hmm. forgot about it. So we still encourage you to sign up for our Code Red. And if it's possible, have a NOAA weather radio. Those will go off in your house. Believe me, they will wake you up and let you know about severe weather heading directly in your area. And uh, Code Red is a free service for folks living Code, in Albany, correct? Code Red is exactly, is, it is free. You can go to the uh, city's website and download it and, and load yourself into the system. And if you don't have a computer or don't feel ease with that, just call me at the fire department and I'll be glad to load you. Okay, well, we'll talk, we'll talk more with you in a few minutes. Uh, but first, uh, as you did see those warnings uh, last week, what are, the, what are the words that you've heard from North Georgia uh, where they really were impacted a little bit more? Have you been talking with EMA directors in that neck of the woods? Uh, was it really a big problem for them, or were they ready for it? Well, we throughout the state, this is, this is the perfect opportunity to, to dovetail off of that, to ask our people in each individual area to be more vigilant of the weather. So this, this was kind of a taste and an eye-opener at the beginning of the season and hopefully now people will use that event that happened throughout our state to actually be better prepared should we have any additional severe weather. Okay, we'll talk more with you in just a little bit. Now time to turn it back on over to Kelly. Kelly. All right, back talking with Jim Vaught, of course, Deputy EMA Director right here in Doherty County. And, of course, this is Severe Weather Awareness Week. And, of course, uh, we're already aware that severe weather can happen just about any time of the year here in South Georgia, not just the real peak of mean season in the springtime, but really any time uh, during the year, especially in a year where we had such a warm uh, start to the season so far. Now, Jim, let's talk about warnings uh, real quick here and lead time. Uh, you know, time given to folks out ahead of the advancing storm. What, what, is the, what is the target time that you hope to give uh, you, along with the National Weather Service, when you guys give warnings, what, what are we talking about? How much time are, usually are we speaking about? Well, hopefully we'll be able to have watch warnings before the actual right. warnings. Uh, the National Weather Service keeps us informed as soon as they find out that there's some, some weather heading on our direction. And we monitor it from counties far, far away, actually. Uh, once it's culture to our area and the National Weather Service declares it as an war uh, actual warning because it's been spotted, then we immediately turn on our sirens, we immediately put out our code red, and the National Weather Service puts out their no weather radio reports. Okay, and uh, yeah, one thing is, as a weather forecaster as well, I, I always emphasize, know your county, know it by name, uh, know which part of the county you live in, uh, know the counties that surround you, uh, so you, even, even if the sirens aren't going off yet, but uh, you can see, you know, because a lot of people get their wa watches and warnings from uh, ulterior motives these days, from social media and the like, and of course, if you, if you already know that there's a storm coming a little bit further towards the west, it's, let's say, Calhoun County coming across the border into Doherty, and then you hear the sirens uh, from you folks, that just basically is an exclamation point that you need to be doing uh, what your family is already prepared to do, correct? That's correct. And we, and we highly encourage people to watch their local media. Mm -hmm. You all put on a great uh, demonstration with uh, slides, graphics. It makes it very clear for people to see the direction right. the storm is actually uh, proceeding. So uh, stay informed is the most important thing. Okay. And, of course, uh, we mentioned Code Red earlier. Uh, the Code Red feature is free for folks in Doherty County, and they can uh, sign up online, correct? Or that is. That just is. call you. It is, it is uh, free. You can go to the city's website, and you can click on Code Red icon and go ahead and fill that out. If you don't have access to a computer or you would like me to do it for you, I'd be more than glad. Just call the fire department and ask for me, and I'll, I'll sign you up. It just takes a couple minutes. All right. Well, Jim Vaught, thanks for coming in this My morning. It's part of All Severe right. Weather Awareness Thank Week. You. And, of course, uh, we hope to talk with you in the future. But ironically enough, hey, we're going to talk about weather.